Christmas is right around the corner. So in this project, we're going to make this layered acrylic ornament. I think you'll like this one. Hey crafters, my name is Kim and I am with the YouTube channel Dusty Blue Cottage and I have teamed up with TechRap today to bring you this great holiday craft. Now for this project, we're going to need our TechRap squeegee and acrylic blank ornament, two different colors of vinyl, whichever two you would like. One should be lighter and one a little darker, your TechRap weeding pen and a TechRap cutting mat and of course your Cricut but you're also going to need some rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab or a piece of paper towel so let's go ahead and get started now I already have my SVG uploaded into Cricut design space but there's a couple things we need to do with it in order to put it onto a um, clear acrylic ornament the first thing we need to do is size the image. I'm going to go ahead and click the lock so that as we change sizes, um, it will stay proportioned. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the size to three by three because that is the size of the acrylic blank that I'm working with. Now we're going to go over here and click ungroup so we have each of our layers separate. And I'm going to take this pink layer and actually delete it because we won't be using it as we're making the ornament. Now the colors on the canvas are showing black and pink. And of course it does not matter which colors you're using when you go to cut them out. I'm going to go ahead and use my starter pack of 001 M series vinyl from TechRap. And these are all the colors that come in that package. I'm going to use powder blue for my darker layer, which will be equivalent to the black layer, and baby blue as my lighter layer, which is equivalent to the pink layer. So I'll go ahead and get these cut out. Real quick before we cut our file, we're going to make things a little bit easier ourselves. Because we're working with an acrylic ornament base, one side of this vinyl image is going to be applied to the back of the acrylic and the other side is going to be applied to the front. So in order to have our design coming out to look like this, we're going to have to take our back layer and flip it so that when we apply it, it's going to be the right way when we're looking at it. I hope that makes sense, but that's what we have to do, trust me. And we're going to make things even simpler by changing this pink color to black so we can cut both of our layers out on the same mat. We'll have the light blue in one corner and the darker blue in the other. So we'll click Make It. And as you can see, we have both images on the mat and we'll keep our light blue right up here in this corner and the darker blue right here. Click continue. And I have TechRap 001 series vinyl already set as a favorite and a custom pressure setting on my Cricut. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, set up a custom cut setting with your Cricut. I do have a video on my YouTube channel explaining how to set up a custom cut setting on your Cricut and then add it to your favorites. So if you're interested in doing that with your Cricut, you can jump over to Dusty Blue Cottage once you're done with this video and watch the tutorial on how to do that. So I'll go ahead and click it now to select that as my cut setting. And as you can see, I already have my mat set up and loaded. I have my lighter blue vinyl in this corner and the darker blue in this corner. That's how we're going to cut two colors out in one process. 
and we'll go ahead and hit our start. Okay, now we have both pieces cut, so we'll go ahead and get them weeded. I'm gonna start at the bottom where we have the big circle part here. And then pull it up slow since there is a lot of cuts through that. Trying to get the little snowflakes here. Looks like we lost one. Now we did lose our little snowflakes. If we were cutting on a larger scale, larger than the three inches that our ornament is, I think it would have been easier to get the snowflakes to stay. But since they were super tiny, we lost them. And that's okay. Nobody knows that there was supposed to be snowflakes on there but us. We'll go ahead and get all these little pieces from the bottom of the tree out. We'll take our other piece. Trying to be really careful with the antlers on here. And we only kept one snowflake on this piece too, so we'll just move it. A scenery with no snowflake. Grab the other pieces. And next we're going to grab our ornament blank, which I have here. And now when you are working with acrylic, you want to go ahead and wipe the item off with some rubbing alcohol before you go to put your decal on. That way it gets any oils from your fingers or any other residue off before you go to apply your image. And we'll grab a piece of the red grid transfer tape. And I'm going to start with the back of the ornament. So we'll go ahead and pick this piece up. Make sure we burnish it really well. Remove the backing of our transfer tape and line up. This is not hard to line up since it is a round base and the vinyl is round. So you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Come off just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put it on, squeegee it really good, try to get all the bubbles out of it. Okay. 
Okay, there's a couple little bubbles in here. So I'll get them rubbed out. And then we'll grab our front piece with the transfer tape. I lost one of my lights there for a second, so I had to pause. But we have the top layer on now. Getting it all pushed down good. And here we go. We have our, let me hold it under something white <laughs> so you can see real good. We have our two layer image, the darker front and the lighter blue in the back as a shadow image. And it's all ready to hang a cute little ribbon from and hang it on your tree. Well, I sure hope you liked this tutorial. Go ahead and be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like and that way you will see every time TechRap puts out new content about their awesome products. Take care.